Steven Crowder's been having a rough go of it. Ooh, I'm casting like red. It's very serious. Um, this is not Steven Crowder. This is Jared Monroe, I guess. Um, but Steven Crowder, famous for being Steven Crowder and being divorced and being a right winger, <laughs> is, is having a bunch of right wingers come after him for, I don't know, different things he's done. The last thing he did was be fucking crazy to his wife. And apparently, like even Candace Owens here, who is in the comments of this, who I do not like, of course, uh, wait till they found out what he's been doing to his wife. I never edited my opinion of, on Steven Crowder because I knew that everything would eventually be revealed. This is going to be a year of revelations. So more juicy stuff coming from Steven Crowder in the future? Well, haters of Steven Crowder, which is good. Um, so here's the thing. They're now doing kind of, it's not a full Me Go. Too situation, but they are now canceling the own bad behavior of their guys. And this is a thing the right has not traditionally done. So we are winning the culture war, okay? It keeps happening. Because if he is abusive, which I believe he is, it's bad for him to do. And whether these people are right wing or not, they do not deserve workplace abuse. So. Uh, which I believe is what's happening here. So uh, let's see what's going on here. This guy used to Crowder's right-hand man on the show. This guy used to be Steven Crowder's right-hand man on the show. Wow. You've seen this video three times? I haven't watched it once. I haven't watched it at all. I've just heard people mention it in passing. Enough is enough. This can't go on any longer. And uh, as the famous saying goes, sunlight is the best disinfectant. So here we go. Sunlight's the best disinfectant every time. I'm currently being legally abused and intimidated into silence by a former employer. This has been going on for a while now, and it simply cannot live in darkness for another day. Uh, but I am asking for your help to fight back. First, some context. Uh, it's a weird room. Go. The right doesn't infight. We need to be unified. Type lefties when faced with the reality the right eats itself fucking way worse than the left ever does. So the right eats itself like this because of the, the nature of their belief system. Altered Rand, thank you so much! Is that a Rangoon? No, it's a raid, you goon. You guys always have the best raid messages. You write them? Is it you every time? You're doing a great job. In late October of 2023, to my surprise, I was served these papers a cease and desist from my former employer. It threatens severe. I hope you have a fantastic day. Purple Nickel, thanks for giving a raccoon girl Mika. It worked. Legal sure. action in the form of a lawsuit demanded I cease communications with my friends. The scare tactics what? Uh, of cease and desist are generally to intimidate, isolate, and eventually devastate. Uh, like most cease and desist, it also demanded that I swiftly provide uh, them written Certificate of my compliance. I did not. In the same delivery, I was also served these papers. A Rule 202 petition from my uh, former employer. You can look that up on the internet. I know I had to. Rule, rule 202? A court may take judicial notice on its own if the following. The common law... Cons what? What is Rule 202 in Texas? Enables a person to petition the court for an order authorizing the taking of a deposition or oral examination or written questions to perpetuate or obtain the person's own testimony. Wait, they wanted you to testify? They wanted to get you to testify? Um, these documents were filed with the county court of my former uh, place of employment, demanding that I be subject to an oral deposition under oath for an unlimited amount of time where they were free to interrogate me on pretty much any private matter that they chose. Also in this petition for discovery, they demanded that I turn over documents uh, of all communications with more than a dozen of my friends and unlimited amount of unnamed persons uh, in any form mm -hmm. and over an unlimited period of time. Wow, man, that sounds fucking crazy. Like Steven Crowder's camp is nuts. I don't know who this is. Like free Jared, uh, Jared Monroe worked on the Crowder set or something. And I, I you know, can you believe I didn't watch a lot of Crowder? He also blocked me on Twitter, so I've been out of the loop for a while. But, uh, I mean, this is this is nuts. This is so much fucking legal action, dude. I did not. Now, I did not for a few reasons. Uh, number one, I have seen how this employer handles legal issues, and I, 
I knew that once I opened the door to legal abuse, it would never, ever be shut. This is how they operate. In fact, um, I'm not... And Crowder was bitching about the Daily Wire contract terms. Wow, true McPlatypus. Fuck. <laughs> the only one. Is this gay Jared? What's gay Jared? Uh, who's a current victim. My former employer is exploiting the legal system. Uh, to abuse others right now. Do you think, hey, right wing Jared, do you think the legal system is good then? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe them leftists have an idea that's right every once in a while. Huh? All in the darkness, fully knowing that the fear and risks it takes to speak up. Uh, this kind of harassment at the hands of the powerful isn't just designed to financially ruin somebody, it's designed to cripple their soul. Now, I wasn't about to put uh, my family on a embarking upon a journey down that road. Number two, I was not about to allow the privacy of my personal life, the trust uh, I have with my friends and the real, real relationships I have with them to be violated in such an evicted, vindictive and abusive manner. It simply was not gonna happen. Um, I received the latest article of legal harassment on Friday, March 22nd, 2024. After a month's now of litigation, exhausting even the court with relentless amendments to their Rule 202 petition. Oh my God. My ex-employer was finally awarded their request for my oral deposition and any document of communication with my friends that they believe may provide any avenue to sue me or others. As it stands, uh, they await my forced cooperation. I will not. I will continue to fight. Yeah, this seems silly. I mean, what is... I don't know what the schism was necessarily. Maybe he'll get into it. Um, but it sounds like Steven Crowder had maybe some... I don't know if it... Is is it connected to his wife? NDAs can't legally cover illegal activities? Uh, now, here's the big question. Is what was... His nickname on Crowder was not gay, Jared. Oh, he's definitely not gay. To differentiate him from quarter black Jared? Oh, good. That's their entire reason for this harassment and the basis for their claims. Mm -hmm. Is harassment bad, man? These documents. An NDA. Some more context. I signed this separation agreement, an NDA, containing a strict and very broad non-disparagement clause many years ago. Uh, I voluntarily left my job after deciding I could no longer put myself or my growing family through the toxic and abusive work environment I had endured for years. Um, toxic and abusive? This place was and is to this day a workplace rife with sexual misconduct, uh, degeneracy, and aggression. The things degeneracy? Ooh. I saw. The schism was he didn't want to be abused by Crowder. Literal dick. Yes, he would take his dick and flop around. Oh, wow. The things done to me and the things uh, I witnessed my employer do to others were disgusting, shocking, and utterly um, indefensible. I have the receipts. This all took a serious toll on my personal health. Is he going to show it? Health. Um, to the point near the end of my tenure, the work environment had become so toxic that I had to be admitted into a heart hospital. And after many tests, I was ultimately put on anti-anxiety medication. This condition um, was something new to me. I know. Oh, interesting. Look, he's right. He's a right winger that works with Steven Crowder. So your mental health issues can be affected by toxic social pressure, right? Are you still a transphobe and a homophobe, man? You know? No history of it prior to my employment there and have never been treated for it since. Now, when I decided to resign, my wife was pregnant with our firstborn child. It was a terrifying position to be put in, um, but I absolutely knew that I could not be the husband or dad I was called to be for them in my current state. Something had to change. And if I couldn't change my work environment, then it was time for me to remove myself from it. Uh, you must I was fully subscribe. aware that willfully resigning would mean I would forfeit any sort of severance. I trusted that God would provide. <laughs> what I not anticipated is how much it would cost me to quit. This is where my first experience with legal abuse began. Uh, starting from the day I delivered 
my notice of resignation, I was put on the phone with company lawyers and the good cop, bad cop coercion campaign to get my signature on an NDA was well underway. Mm -hmm. I was told many lies throughout this process. I immediately hired my own legal counsel and uh, by the grace of God, understanding my predicament, uh, he even agreed to work for half of his normal rate. Even so, the legal fees immediately began to pile up. Man, capitalism sounds so fucking stupid. <laughs> Damn, bro. My former employer and his attorney argued I could not work in media anywhere in the world. And most certainly not in the United States for two years. Uh, Why? This is not because I involuntarily signed some sort of non-compete in my original employment agreements. It was because they decided a non-solicitation clause that was in said original agreement would retroactively be interpreted as the broadest and strictest non-compete one could draft. They told me on my Twitter account, a, another potential lifeline to future work, uh, which I had owned and been the sole manager of since 2009, was to be turned over to them on the argument that it was somehow their intellectual property now. I think this is a great example of reaping what you have sowed, my friend. I feel a little bad. This The sexual harassment and stuff is not your fault. Um, however, getting into bed with these charlatans, these slimes, these evil people, people that you agree with politically, their politics lead to this. You held bigotry for years and then got, fuck, that's crazy, dude. Uh, like, think of every and worst, most vile thing you can do as a boss short of killing and possibly R.I.P. Uh, that's Crowder. He needs jail. D really? I need more. I need to understand more. Uh, Is he going to talk about it in this video? Or are there other receipts I should be looking at? From working even further, my former employer even tried to claim my personal production equipment, gear I had owned for years prior to working there as company property. After producing every receipt to validate my ownership, a vicious lie that I stole from the company was born in December. Daily Wire doesn't have stuff like this going on. They have they have non competes and stuff like that. I mean, they're not going to have Steven Crowder's shit, but they absolutely eat their own. The right constantly does this. Disseminated by my employer. Uh, by the way, breaking their side of this bogus mutual non disparagement agreement. Um, I have those receipts as well. All I simply wanted to do was peacefully leave. It was clear by my employer, though, that this was not only unacceptable, but that I needed to be punished for doing so. Being bullied on each of these terms and many more. Bull bullied. Look, I don't feel bad that this guy was bullied. I do think this is fucking wrong, but. <laughs> well, you don't get to call it being bullied. <laughs> Just stop more fighting for my basic free daily wire just fired candace owens for having a correct take on gaza yeah and they cited anti-semitism bro both sides eat their own do you really not think that nah not like this capitalists sure do if if the left is fighting it's an ethical disagreement almost always they're having some kind of argument about they're not eating each other for the sake of fucking dollar bills it's it's crazy that you can't see the difference between this <laughs> Like the left, the left doesn't eat themselves over sexual, like abuse. <laughs> Most less is in fight is sent like purity testing, BS, or ethical disagreements. Right, purity testing is the ethical. Right, they're having ethical disagreements, and oh, you're not pure enough. And like, honestly, we're in coalition more than we're fighting. Who's fighting right now on the left? Is there a lefty infighting right now? Freedoms to leave and provide for my family immediately. Before enlightened centrist BS. Oh, I'm very excited. He sent me into legal debt. I did not want to sign anything, mind you. Um, Tankies versus anarchists? Well, tankies aren't lefties. I hope you really have a fantastic day. Dr. Gamble gave one. He went to Jared's. Wow. The left eats his own in a fun way. <laughs> Negotiations with my former employer left no question that without a signed NDEA. Candace is an anti semi, though? Oh, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> but she wasn't being anti-Semitic in that, I don't think. My guaranteed silence. Who are the in... I mean, there's infighting in every community. I mean, like, is there a a major lefty infighting? Interpersonal drama? That's what I mean. I would undoubtedly be harassed well into the future. No matter if there are future claims against me for 
or for where I worked or uh, what I did or what I said were legitimate or not. It didn't matter. It would cost me thousands and thousands to fight back. And they knew that I had to make a deal with nothing but um, a small savings account and my last paycheck. I had to accept the deal I could afford. It's very important to note here that, uh, where is it? It's here. I was not paid a single dollar for its consideration. Uh, which brings me to what you might be asking next. What was the reason I did sign this? Uh -huh. And uh, uh -huh. again, as a a man with a... How dare you? What is wrong with way. salami? There's no infighting here, Jake. Face me! <laughs> There's Vosh stuff. I mean, more Vosh stuff. Recently? Hey, the, um... We can get off on it. Get off on it. What the fuck? I'm guessing this community considers liberals right-wingers, so they wouldn't count the constant fighting between themselves as and liberals as infighting. I don't consider all liberals right-wingers. There's, like, neoliberals who are definitely right-wingers, like Hillary Clinton. Um, some liberals or progressives, like when they caucus together, I would consider on the left. Uh, I do not consider fighting with a liberal infighting, no. Just because we, like, Democrats and Republicans exist, no. They're not in to fight with, you know what I'm saying? They're on the outside of leftism. Yeah, absolutely a centrist. Right. Uh, so liberals are guys who have some of the correct answers, uh, but do not know. It's like It's like on the math test when you know some of the stuff but you don't know other stuff and so you're trying to like copy off of other people and you're like oh okay racism's bad why is it bad why is racism bad okay and systemically does it have any anything to do with now no it doesn't because i'm just you know you don't really understand systemics or like you know just history and certainly not the intent of things like capitalism or your human rights uh and then, so yeah i mean but that's not infighting that's just you you not you not understanding stuff. Yeah. I'd say liberals are closer to centrists. No one under the age of 50 thought Crowder was funny or cared about him. Right. I mean, he, this is legal trouble, man. Do I align with liberals on domestic issues? Or are you the type that won't vote for Democrats? Wow, you, you have a lot of opinions about me. I vote for Democrats. Uh, I vote for the most far left candidate that will uh, be allowed to run. Uh, the one that I most closely politically align with as a matter of pragmatism. You don't sound like a super smart guy. I could be wrong. <laughs> I would love... Look, I would love an intellectual discussion with someone someday. It'll happen. I don't see this as particularly endemic to the political right wing. That's crazy. It's crazy you don't see... You don't see right wingers constantly cycling through like the... <laughs> <laughs> they do this constantly there's a tim pool thing that's about to happen because of his like freaky nda the daily wire has drama going on right now with candace owens donald trump himself has caused a deep schism in the entire right wing like this is this is normal stuff for them they're constantly going through this the small victory i got from it the primary reason i signed the NDA, and the reason a lot of the reason is because they don't believe in community like we do right they believe in individualism like specifically individual financial success and shit like that and and they're they're incredibly selfish people and so they don't they don't work in coalition very well uh they can they it's 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 crazy paradoxical right because they vote in coalition quite well because they're so identitarian right but they don't work in cooperation quite well because they're so disparate when it comes to you know well uh, you know me me and mine got mine and that's all i care about they don't like have empathy for people because they're suck they suck man wasn't there a report that showed that right-wing media has been seeing a 70 to 90 percent drop in engagement this election season oh yeah and there's uh, brain studies on right-wingers that show that they have heightened amygdala responses which is fight or flight uh and like violence and stuff uh and fear um, they have heightened amyg amygdala responses so much so that the average Republican brain has more, uh, like a larger amygdala because of the overuse of that thing. This is real. Like it, it, it's it's sad. It's like a mental health disorder being a right winger. Legal debt trying to fight back. My wife was very pregnant by this time and without a financial safety net for groceries and a baby crib, much less a legal fund to file a countersuit. I simply had to let it go. Trusting God had a plan. Uh, <laughs> Christians. To that point, Christians. I want to say that I'm happy to report that he did have a plan and what was intended for evil 
God used for good. And it took me years to pay off my legal debt. But the story of God's faithfulness in my life became a, a very large part of my testimony. And I am... Um, Look, man, <laughs> it's silly. Religious people are fucking goons. I don't, I don't understand. I'm just so grateful for the opportunities that he gave me, and uh, yeah, it's a story for another day. But um, back to this. <sighs> While my supposed not compete expired after two years. Unfortunately, the most egregious part of my NDA, the part that silences my free speech, has no expiration. Uh huh. Well, NDAs are classically used to protect, uh, protect trade secrets. Unfortunately, in the entertainment industry, they are too often used to protect disgusting, unlawful activity and many forms of abuse. We see examples of beautiful this Brooke all the time. Powerful people and their attorneys routinely use NDAs to silence victims in order to remain powerful people. Free speech matters. <laughs> matters a lot to me, and that's not just a t-shirt slogan. So they're going to make it a free speech thing, which I agree with. <laughs> it really matters. And these should... kinds of NDAs right here. Uh -huh. NDAs in general, for the most part, I mean, are dog shit. ND NDAs are insidious. From this. Are the un only way I accept an NDA is like... Those NDAs where it's like, okay, no spoilers for the movie we're going to put out or something. You know what I mean? Like, hey, you can't talk about this thing that's going to happen uh, for, I don't know, until the release date or whatever. Like, limited D NDAs that aren't about ethical issues or something like that. This is about, like, hey, if your employer abused you at the workplace, you can't fucking talk about it. That's an unethical NDA. I do not agree with that whatsoever. Unquestionably unconstitutional. Yeah, his free speech matters, of course. It's unconstitutional. Interesting. Do you think freedom of expression exists alongside freedom of speech? Because I sure do. Trans rights are a freedom of expression issue only. It's irrelevant to whatever your fucking God says, which doesn't bring up trans people whatsoever. Reason spineless coward. Thank you, Secular. <laughs> I will not live with the burden of this unconstitutional NDA over the head, over my head, for the rest of my life especially when information I have can be used to aid other victims escape their own abusive situations, which is the context for which this former employer feels they caught me breaking my agreement. Uh huh. Let me be clear. What I'm afraid of is legal harassment in perpetuity, not the truth. Only one side of this ordeal is spending a fortune to hide truth and punish anyone who dares speak up for themselves or other victims. Hmm. While I will not give in to the harassment uh, by my former employer, I have to recognize that this process has already become unbearably expensive. Uh, not only because of the general expense of the legal process, but because my former employer has seemingly unlimited wealth and resources to gleefully spend uh, punishing powerless people. Huh. Is capitalism working? Is that good? Do you think this is a good thing? That some people have this kind of power? That the legal system works based on a pay-for-play situation? You know, any fucking thought at this or just because your situation is like this, this one instance is the immoral act, right? So this is, this is the rub, right? It's always centered on themselves. Republicans are like, okay, this is obviously immoral and it is, this is unethical behavior. This is legal bullshit. But after this, it doesn't extend systemically out in any direction. This is an isolated incident in his head. I bet this, this is Wokey's fault somehow. I, I bet the Wokies have some good ideas about this particular problem and can fix it for you with some systemic changes. I tried to handle legal fees on my own these last months, and uh, the fees have already reached the tens of thousands of dollars with no resolution in sight. Unstopped, this type of legal abuse could go on for years and years and quickly escalate into hundreds of thousands of dollars as I fight to protect myself and my family. I cannot put my wife and my children through this. Not again. I cannot be bound to an unconstitutional NDA like this forever. Uh, protecting my family means finding a path that doesn't leave us in financial ruin. And we are simply out of funds. And I Do you think the country is ethical for allowing a system in which legal, unethical legal trouble could literally lead you and your family and your newborn child 
into financial ruin in a way that makes you materially unsafe. Is that a system that is working? It is worth considering that you are wrong politically. And this is a great example of how. And I have no other option but to ask for help. I'm asking for donations for, uh, for two reasons. Um, number one, obviously to help with the financial burden I've already accrued uh, with this legal matter right here. That's uh, taken care of. That matter is priority, priority number one as I'm going further and further into debt uh, with each passing day. The second reason I'm asking for a financial assistant though, uh, assistance is to proactively address my unconstitutional anti-free speech NDA, which is the basis for all of their claims against me. Uh -huh. the simplest resolution here would be for my ex-employer to release me from the NDA. Uh, give me and my fellow ex-employees the same free speech they publicly champion for every other American. So do you think that the, the process, the policy that allows for NDAs to exist like this is ethical and ought to be allowed in the country? You know, no self-reflection. But I can almost guarantee you that will not happen. I've already witnessed them spend unfathomable amounts of money in other cases to protect their double life and secrets. Their double life and secrets. No more darkness. Uh-oh. Double life, huh? That's why beyond the current burden I face from my ex-employer's legal abuse, I will be using these donations to fight back and file a counter motion, placing my unconstitutional NDA before a judge to have it dissolved in its entirety. I want my First Amendment rights back. I want to stop the cycle of abuse, and I want truth to be known. This takes incredible resources. I... I simply don't have. Um, truthfully, I don't know how much money this will take. Probably much more than my current goal is. Do you think a legal system that needs the claimant to have money in order to pursue their genuinely truthful legal claim, do you think that's a good system? This makes no fucking sense. Attorneys should not be private. It worked with the party of face-eating leopards and they're eating my face. What a surprise. Yep. Classic face-eating leopards meme. But every penny, every penny I do have left from your donations will go toward helping other ex-employees, dear friends of mine, fight back and escape their identical situations with the same employer. Um, to... <laughs> Accept donations, I've set up a GoFundMe. And to make it easy, you can go to freejaredmonroe.com. It will it will take you there. Um, please share this message. I know some of you cannot afford to help, but simply retweeting this post helps so much. And for any of you who can help, big or small, public or anonymous, um, I, my wife, my children, thank you from the bottoms of our hearts. I mean, this sounds like uh, mutual aid to me. Right winger asking for mutual aid against his right wing boss for like sexual harassment <laughs> and other unconstitutional, uh, you know, free speech issues, bad unethical NDAs. Wow. It's, I mean, this, this just sounds like fucking why are the snakes biting me in the viper pit? I thought I was one of the vipers. <laughs> I wanted to be a viper, but the vipers are biting me. He's 80% of the way through his goal of 100K. Good for him. I mean, I, you know, I hope that uh, Steven Crowder gets hammered anyway. I don't care. I don't care how this pans out. Actually, no, I'm, I'm definitely on the side of this guy more than I am. Actually, like he seems he seems in this scenario like this is fucked up and not his fault. Uh, I just think it's fucking funny <laughs> that he's having this mental anguish and going through this and uh i'm glad he's going through it he's a shitty person um but he also doesn't deserve it uh, steven crowder is shittier <laughs> this is a dub for everybody over here uh, i want the t too you're only a useful idiot until you stop being useful then you're just an idiot and i do just want to say this if you too are or have been a victim of such abuse for whatever it's worth know that i see you and i hear you and i encourage you to be courageous wow I see you and I hear you. Very lefty. 
No more darkness. Victims of the cruel and powerful deserve a voice. Truth is the sword that slays the monsters. So let there be truth. So badass. Free speech matters. It's a free speech issue. So Stephen Crowder sucks. This seems to be something that will uh, be very public and fun for all of cool. us. You know what's fascinating? How many right-wingers are like, oh, yeah, I've been through this. Unfortunately, the legal system is heavily in favor of those money and resources stay in court. Sounds like capitalism has a corruption problem. Hmm. <laughs> God, dude. These people... Dana Loesch. I've been through it too. It's hard and expensive. Go. <laughs>